thought I'd give you an update on some of the new fruit trees that we've just got. Uh, we'll be putting these in when it's not quite as hot. So, the day we got a yellow dragon fruit. It's a bit of a different variety than the ones we've got. Got a myoga ginger, a Japanese ginger, a longan, like a cast, like a lychee, some pigeon pea. That's a, a pigeon pea. That's a good chop and drop plant for in your permaculture food forest. We'll put that one in the vegetable garden. A white beech. It's a nice, fast-growing tree or habitat tree. We've got a balsam. These ones are a large shrub. They get uh, little fruits on them, so it's interesting to see how they grow. A Panama berry. Um, two Panama berries. These are a native wampy. It's, it's a, a native plant that gets fruits and a soursop and a jackfruit. Really excited about the jackfruit. It's got a little bit of growth to go before we plant that one. They get really massive trees that can live a thousand years and the giant big fruit so excited about that one. So yesterday we went down to Daly's Fruit Tree Nursery in northern New South Wales and we got all these plants for $260 which is just such a bargain. Uh, we got some fruiting plants and some habitat plants for the wildlife. We are replanting our whole top paddock with habitat plants for the wildlife. So I'll show you what we got. Uh, this guy is our black taro and I'm going to plant it in water culture. I might do a short video on doing that. This one's a pine nut and these prefer a cooler climate but we've got a couple in and they're doing quite well so we thought we'd put another one in because it's such a nice healthy plant. Couldn't go past that one. This one's a habitat plant. It's a pink euodia and it's a fast growing rainforest tree that attracts lots of butterflies and birds and it's a host plant for the Ulysses butterfly and it gets massive big pink flowers so I'm quite excited about that one to put it somewhere protected away from the frost and this one is a Rolinia it's a type of custard apple and it tastes like lemon meringue pie so we're quite excited about that one um, it fruits in four years so if you hang about in a few years we'll be able to show you hopefully that one fruiting this is a madrono i've got another madrono because you need two to cross pollinate so we grabbed another one and um, we'll get those planted when it's a little bit cooler because we're in 38 40 degree heat at the moment here celsius uh, and this one has sort of aromatic -y, sort of a bit acidy fruits but they're supposed to be quite nice and we've got a jelly palm this is one of the lesser known palms everybody knows date palms and you know your coconut palm but the jelly palm also gets quite tasty fruit and so we've got three of those they're quite hardy don't need a lot of water so they should do well here we'll show you those when they get big and fruit this one is an Australian native cabbage palm. You can see on this one it's got sharp spines all up its, up its leaves and it's just a habitat plant as well. It gets little fruits that the wild birds should like. Oh, we've got a yellow Japoticaba. I'm showing you the black Japoticaba that we've got in and they're doing really well. So we thought we'd try the yellow one. And this one is a water celery. It's an aquatic plant and so I need to replant, repot it and get it into some water. You can eat the leaves fresh in a salad or use them in cooking. So I'd be interested to try that one. <clears throat> this little one is a pepino berry. Oh, and it's got little fruits there. I didn't notice this when we bought it but it's got some 
little fruits coming. This guy is a Solanaceae and we've already got some normal pepinos in and they're doing quite well. So this one should do well here. We've got a couple of low chill apricots, so they should be good. Just got to save them from being waterlogged. And this guy we picked up for $4, such a bargain. It's an orange, so we'll see what it turns into. And this one is just another habitat tree that was in their bargain bin. It's a black plum and it's a small tree or shrub that gets little black fruits, an Australian native, and the birds should like that one too. And we've got another couple of pigeon pea for the chop and drop for in the veggie garden. And yeah, the rest are all just habitat plants. We've got a native native ginger we'll give that a go somewhere protected yeah so that's what we got from dailies as if that wasn't enough plants we just got another box delivered of plants that we got from dailies so i'll show you what we got this came from the courier much to jose's delight he loves to yell at the courier Kiwi fruit, uh, but the, they don't have the furry skin, you can eat them whole. So they're a climber like a kiwi fruit. Got two for cross pollination. Three. Three, oh, three. Three for cross pollination. <laughs> and they're a lot hardier than a kiwi fruit. So you can see the leaves are quite leathery, so they, hopefully they can take our heat. And we've got the beginnings of our Bari date plantation. They only had two so we're on a waiting list to get some more but quite exciting we've got two. And they're supposed to be really good tasting dates. Well they are, they're better than the medjool and a bit hardier than the medjool date. So we will get them in. And just a couple more felsum for cross pollination with the other one. So we're going to be really busy.